<laughs> um, sorry for that bit of a hiccup there, chat. Uh, yeah, we good now. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to see if I can maybe, you know, also stream on TikTok live like I used to, but, um, as soon as I tried to, uh, start the stream, my Roblox just closed. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I know the private server code is invalid now, <laughs> bro. That's so dumb. Why did just close my Roblox, bro? What even is that, bro? <laughs> Gotta do this again. So that y'all can join me. No, it's not a baby dog stream without something scuffed happening. TikTok Live is forever cursed. I don't know. I I don't I don't know why that happened. Maybe I have to go live on TikTok first. Maybe Maybe then it'll be fun. I don't know. But yeah, uh, we're not doing that for today. Cause, uh, my Roblox does not like that, seems like. Ooh. Nice, the best part of the stream, the very start. It's time to win this time. So I tried to, to the best of my abilities to clean my uh to clean my scroll wheel. Chat. I I tried. If that doesn't work, I'm hundred percent uh gonna have to like get a new mess. A, a deep cleaning. Also, I changed my strat for that wedge thing. I finally understood. I finally understand like how that works. You can just like walk across the bottom of it. So yay, different flow one strat. Ow. Oh, what the flip? Out of my way. Hello, no. Clear it today. Yes, I shall definitely fluke from uh, the first jump of floor 7 to Windpad. That is what I plan on doing for today's stream. How'd you, how'd you know, by the way? Are you, are you some sort of mind reader? We have a certified mind reader in the chat today. No way, speedrunning floor one. Never done that before. Yo, I skipped I skipped the floor one purgatory chat. That's a good sign. That means uh today <laughs> that means today's the day. That means I beat tab watermelon. For for sure today. Baby dog stream streak more important. Call of G, 250x with the five stream streak! Oh and uh Lil Bo's first. Yeah, chat, I don't exactly get notifications for that, like, as in a sound bit that plays, okay? I have to look at, like, the bottom left of my second monitor in order to see it. I'm trying to change that. Jump. And, uh, I want to do that, because it's just quicker. 
whenever I would try doing that, it, would, it just wasn't consistent. It was annoying. Watermelon gonna pull a 2 CP? Yeah, except for that 9 on Watermelon is definitely harder than 9 on 2 CP. At least 10 on Watermelon, um... No matter where you fall, you'll get sent back down to, uh... To the start of floor 6. Whereas... Most of the time, if you fail 10 outside and 2 CP, you're just going to... Either like that five outside section, which probably means you'll be teleported down to a floor four right before floor outside, because yeah, you touch the grape juice, or you'll just you know fall to one and rip your run is over. Yeah, thankfully, that cannot happen on floor ten, unless of course you <laughs> you fail the mega fun obby at like the the very end. Okay, bro. Why why is it not like wanting to move the other way? I don't- I, I- I do not approve of this. I like pushed against these walls, please. Thank you. See, that's gonna- okay, yeah, I knew it would do that. I hate this thing. You can't even practice this thing properly. The thing to respawn it, that's in-game, it's not even in the practice place. The little- the little thing, wherever it is down here that's invisible. That just like resets its position. It's literally not there in practice. It's like you cannot perfectly reset the platform on your own. There's a Mega Funabi on 10 VM. Oh yeah, I remember that. It legit says Mega Fun Avi. That's funny. On Watermelon, that's literally like the last few jumps. It's just jumping over insta-kill at the top. And then you get to eat the Watermelon. Okay, I went in and tweaked stream card stuff, so hopefully it works tomorrow. Wait, you're telling me it did not work? Okay, bro, what is wrong with stream card? How does it not work to ping rolls? They just only work with at everyone, like I swear bro. Like I'll just go back to at everyone if it doesn't work. Cause like I assumed it was because there was a space and like stream card is too dumb to like work if there's a space between two letters in the role. Which there was and now there wasn't and it still doesn't work. You didn't do it right. In the StreamCord website, I did what I would do with at everyone. It's the, it's really simple. Roll ID was probably the only way to go. It doesn't say that a roll ID where will work though. That's the thing. And I've been using at everyone, and it works just fine. So why would it not work for another roll? How could it possibly fail to just ping a roll? You need a roll ID to ping specific rolls? Bro, that's dumb. It doesn't even specify that, like, on the- On their literal website, it does not say that you need to do that. Doing everyone, I think, universally works. Yeah, it should work for specific rolls too, that's dumb. Yeah, as long as it works, it works. What do you use to stream? I use OBS. I was just walked off there. I don't know I would read chat when I'm on the spinner. Ah!
Do I have to pass Tiovic to challenge Watermelon? Um, you don't have to technically, but it would be a good idea. Thank you, Stream Elements. I didn't know that Baby Dog was live. <laughs> it was earlier than mine. Yeah, everything is messing up today. My Roblox crashed when I tried to stream with TikTok Live. The ping didn't, still didn't work. But now it should work with the roll ID thing. Now. <laughs> Now stream elements is giving up the notification or putting it in chat like almost 15 minutes late. You know. Better late than never, I guess. At least it did it, you know. Are you streaming on TikTok right now? No. I tried to and it crashed my Roblox. So yeah, that's not happening for today. I guess I might join to play Watermelon for no reason. <laughs> Fuck it. Yes, Kyle G250X grinding time Watermelon confirmed. He's just too pro. You should play for <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Kyle, um, Nal was streaming earlier, and, um, we were all playing the, like, Jato difficulty chart obby game, and, like, everyone was stuck on the Tau Watermelon Floor 4 stage. I mean, not me though, cause, uh, <laughs> I'm pro. Instead, I was stuck on the Roof's Peak stage, and then, uh, eventually I passed it. <laughs> like, Almost two hours later, probably. Like, an hour and a half. That shit is, like, nil. I swear it was, like, because of the stupid one ledge grab to trust also. It was so beyond nil. I'm gonna do tab watermelon even though I'm horrible. My PB is still floor 6 2 VH. I mean, floor 6 is the hardest floor by like a lot, so that's fair. Okay. Maybe that strat just doesn't work. That like slightly faster way of doing that. Please. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. Four D queso waffle house one v one the giat. Little bro, did you really just say all that? Are you okay? Do you need some help? Cause I'm here for you. I hope you know that. Sorry, my lizard was on my keyboard again. Okay. Well, you know what? I believe you. Your lizard is very strange. You know that? Ow.
also, um, regardless of if my scroll wheel behaves more properly now because I like cleaned it, um, I sort of developed a strat that should literally a hundred and like ten percent of the time work on that first jump of seven. And if it fails, and it, like I just don't mess up myself, which it would be really hard for me to mess up, you know. Uh, then I don't know, I may as well just like quit Jeta. Okay, I mean not really, but like still. Like if that strat fails, like it is so just like unfailable. It, it's like it could not be any easier to pull off. He's going to desk slam, yeah. I will turn into um Queso and um do the biggest desk slam ever. Actually, Queso doesn't desk slam that often. If you quit, move to ZTOA, troll face. True. I will become a ZTOA man. Queso gets so trolled, it's hilarious. Yeah, his, his streams are so full of content. Wild. What's your PB? Uh, first jump of 7 because my scroll wheel got stuck. Very sad. But I'm honestly pretty confident I can make it back. Um, hopefully somewhat easily. Especially with me actively like tweaking strats for certain jumps and whatnot still. Such as uh, this one. Go to that when I'm cl when I'm still climbing up it. Uh, apparently it helps. Okay, like for this you wanna like flick away. First. Good. Okay, yeah, cool. Nice job tweaked strat for working. That's great. I don't know how I got stuck. Still the worst thing on 4 by far. That thing didn't exist then I could literally do 4 like every single time. What is your miss? Exclamation point miss. Command for it. I'm gonna go and try to beat Wicked Fortress. Cause I got to floor 7 yesterday. Oh, good luck. Tower is so unbalanced. 10 is like miles harder than the rest of it and it's a lot longer. I wish you luck. So 9 is pretty hard too. Plan to go back to Wicked Fortress off stream? Yeah. Of course I will. Hello, Wolsey. OMG is that. What? You know this person? Absolutely. Well, hello, welcome. 
I give up on Tower of Wine and Melon. <laughs> Rip. Um, that is totally valid though, because the start of one is like really garbage. So I do not blame you at all. Has like the hardest draw difficulty out of the whole tower, so. Do not worry. Honestly gives like that section also gives like a false like sort of sense of like how the rest of the tower will be, I feel like. In in like a negative way, I mean. Like it makes it seem like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like yeah, this is horrific, right? And then no, there's like a bunch of nets and stuff afterwards. And like the floors are short. And like there's strats you can use. I've been playing Cognition in GD and the pre-drop is just stupid. I'm not much of a GD player myself, but I wish you luck. Oops. He just tried sending a link. Yeah, it get it gets blocked out automatically. That's how I have it set up. Blocked off four three two of H I'm feeling good. Rip. I feel that though. I definitely feel that. I've done that plenty of times before. Like just now I walked off. Isn't that cool? I don't know, felt like I hit my head there. I feel like I didn't actually walk off. There's no way I could have hit my head into anything, right? Surely not. Okay, what? How did I miss the spinner entirely? What am I doing, bro? How's my consistency at, like, 1 to 4 get worse than it was yesterday? Why is it go at 4-5? This is a medium tower, right? Uh, yeah. You're a little bit off, but yeah. No, you're right, you're right. I shouldn't even have a go. A go floor. My Harris and Jato is slightly tricky. It's TOUH. That's a, it's a pretty good Harris. You've been at least one SC. The GG's. Still working on my first SC. TOBT took a break because I keep failing 6-9. to nine. Yeah, those floors get pretty hard. Good luck though, Lee. Okay, what? It's where I held the W key and I just didn't go forwards. I think my hand- I think my- my brain did not tell my hands to do that here. Just did not hold W. Always with the SCs having one peak null jump while the rest is doable. Yeah, I swear. Even in even in this tower, at some point, so that's how it feels. It just it's, it it always remains that way, and I don't know why. Just some towers are better or worse with like their balancing of difficulty spec jumps, but they all have them. I swear. You have just nil from 6 until 9, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say that. 8 and 9 aren't the worst thing. Especially 9. Um, 9 is pretty flukable. I fluked floor 9. Oh, I did skip the uh, the truss at the start. That's like the hardest thing on the floor, but... Uh, I 
I'm sure it's still flukeable with if you like have a good strat for it. So eight, eight is also only really bad because of nerves. Like eight and nine are just like the nerves kind of carry. Oh well, I mean, and there's like, there's like two or three bad jumps on eight that are like pretty darn failable, but everything else is fine. I'm not a person that finds strats, I just say, read that sort of my thing. Bro, what? You cannot tell me that you're grinding 2VH without strats. That's like, actually impossible. Of course I walk off that. I'm going the wrong way. Six and nine outside are both like ten times harder than the rest of the tower, and then the final stretch is just straight up peak extreme. I do not remember s floor six and nine. What do you mean by six and nine outside? Wouldn't it be like all outside? So I like never fallen here before. Uh, that's cool. I might just use your strats, bro. You you need strats, I swear. If you do not use strats on TOVH, then like, I'm not gonna say it's. I I will. It's it's gonna be near impossible to beat. It's, I'm gonna be honest. Like, not using strats on 2 of each is a death sentence. You were right, it took me half a year just to get far on TOV. Well, on TOC, you're right, it took me a year and a half to make it to the safety net once. Like, why? Uh. Whoa. I will tell you exactly why. Because on Champions Road, it is also a strat based tower a lot of the time, just like TOV. So, you're just making it, like, miles harder for yourself if you do not use strats. Like, if you're doing towers that many people have already beaten, or even that there's like, you know, like a couple hundred people have beaten, there's gonna be strats that people have found already that are available to you, so you may as well use them. Good luck, thank you.
I used your strats for two seer. I was just demotivated. I knew two seer was strat based because of two. Yeah, I mean more than just two to be honest. One isn't really strat based, but uh, I'd say like literally every other floor has quite a few strat based jumps. I mean, even stuff that you don't necessarily have to strat base or, or like use strats for, it can still be good to have some sort of strat or alignment for it. Just so that like when you're nervous in a real run, you just have that to try and make things more consistent, easier for you. Was harder GD Extreme Demons or Horrific and Jato? That is not even like a, a question to ask. They can both be like infinitely hard, like SC pluses and uh. Like, actually no, I mean, you, you, asked, you said horrific, so extreme demons can literally be harder. Like, infinitely harder. If we were talking like SC+, that's not even like an answerable question, because literally can both be just as hard as the, the level is made. I'm honestly always nervous on 4 2 Sierra. Oh, I know the feeling. I would always get really nervous too. Trust me. But like, I swear the nerves never went away. It was, it was rough. Is Tidal Wave harder than Blind Fader CYV? Uh, I would think so. For sure. I mean, just think about how much longer the GD community has been a thing for than the, uh, the Jato community. Just that alone, I think, answers the question. You don't even really have to understand how both games work. I think that just alone answers it. Oh, and plus DYV has like four victors, meanwhile, Tidal Wave, well, has one verifier. Do you have a tip to control nerves? Everyone is a little bit different with nerves. Usually, I don't really stop for like a couple minutes and, uh, so I could try and calm myself because that just doesn't really work for me and I sort of lose my moment my momentum with my gameplay uh, like when I'm streaming I <laughs> you know I stop I stop yapping I stop talking because I can't just like play what I'm for at the same time and talk I'll like mess up I know I will um I mean drinking water is good I drink some water right now because uh, why not Yeah, literally what Null said. Water, water does wonders. If you have a like some sort of water bottle beside you on your desk, that will help you get the water buff. Tom versus water bottle. Um, oh, oh, I don't want to die. I'm just gonna heal here. Another tip, if you just like practice a ton, it'll help. It'll help compensate, because even if you're really nervous, you'll have practiced whatever sections so much that like it, it'll help. It sort of goes back to my whole thing about like if you have strats or alignments, even if you're like nervous or shaky, those strats in alignment should help compensate. Okay bro, I just like took 15 more damage. Get up the truss! Ow. I think in terms of difficulty, CYV is top 10 in GD. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't think I'd be able to say at all. Because again, I'm not big into GD. At all. Maybe when I eventually <laughs> retire from JTO, then I will become GD Pro. And then uh, y'all can teach me the ways of how to be pro in Geometry Dash.
also, we're on floor 5. Yay! I'll see if this is a run that got somewhere or not. When Stairway to Heaven completion, uh, 2024 obviously. Yeah, this year it will happen. I believe. Past GBJ on 8 TOVM. Oh shit, you're getting for it, Judah. Good luck. Rose consistent. That was a scuffed first two spinners. Pretty scuffed. Sucks. Let's do this. Almost failed that. Drops you straight into the insta kill. Whoops. Alright, I didn't wait long enough. I'm much more confident with uh, being able to redo five. Kyle is cool. Kyle is very cool. Oh no wait, Shato made easy. W video by the way. And it was like, pretty dang long. So many fails. <laughs> Mine were the best though. My TikTok for you page is actually so cooked. How come? Is it just all, all brain rot?
Yeah, we love those spinners, don't we, chat? They're so fun. And they spin. Oh. That was... That was also close. Uh, too close to call one. I don't know why that happened. We are good. For now. Gonna heal a little bit. Because these spinners do have kill bricks on them. Bro, what the fuck, bro? I don't even know what to say anymore at this point. I just, like, hit my head on nothing. Like, this game is so fucking stupid sometimes. I literally did everything correctly and I still just don't pass the jump. Like, what the fuck? I literally did nothing wrong that time. This- the game is against me at this point, I swear. Garbage Roblox physics, I guess. I don't know. Either that or I did not turn to the left enough. It's cool though, just take away more of my seven runs, it's fine. Guess that's like the hardest jump on the whole tower all of a sudden. Three times now. I'll take even more time to set it up next time. Okay, well, that time, yep. Yeah, I mean, of course it wouldn't let me get back, though, you know? Of course I have to fall into the GBJ. Just how it goes, I guess. I'm not even updating the PB counter. Like, I don't even want to count that as 7 row. That just, like, tilts me even more. By now, I could have had a 9 run with 3 7 runs, bro. So, to my scroll wheel, one to just probably physics fucking me over or me just not setting it up correctly. like the only one to ever have these sorts of problems, I swear. It would only be me. On 2CP it was those stupid edge bricks. On Watermelon now it's just one jump at the very start of 7. 
something always has to be just fucking me over. Funny too, because I literally practiced that jump for like five minutes. Of course, I still have to fail it. How'd you pass one so fast? Um, guess I'm getting better at it. So kind of tweaks strats even more for two jumps. Unfortunately, one. Is the mewing buff real? Um, I don't know. Maybe not with um, Fire Toast's mewing streak. So I'm just not having the best experience right now with trying to get a new PB. Judah. You got this. Get to floor 10. Be pro. Unlike me. It's like I'm actually noticing I'm getting consistent at 1 to 6. You know. Enough to where I should definitely be further than the first jump of 7 as my PB, but I'm just not. Not yet, at least. Wall of uh, the wall of it, like despair. I don't know what else to call it. The wall of despair will be broken eventually. Just a matter of time to get myself together and not let stuff like that push me off. Mm -hmm. 
I swear what in practice was the slightly improved strat is just worse in real runs for me. That's cool. No, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. Why would things in this game actually make sense? Seven the first screen floor, yeah. Okay, just hit into an invisible wall, it felt like. It's like I did not run into that. So I don't know. Unless I did. I'm just, I'm just yapping. I mean, just one big yapper. I think Baby Dog will see what I mean when he gets to where I'm at. Like, fuck this stupid walk off part. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think. If you're talking about on floor one, then yeah, I know what you're talking about. Pass it all today. Feel practically last jump twice. Damn. I do feel you though. This thing right here just has a mind of its own. I totally agree with you. That's how I do it, and I have no control over whether it actually works or not. Still more fun than 2 VH, I guess. Although the more I play this, now my enjoyment is just going down. It's probably at like a 4 out of 10 right now. Or like a 3 out of 10. I haven't even experienced float. I don't know what that was. What's COCR? Uh, contra contrasting regions? That really dumb Ring 5 said it all.
POV 90 FPS. Yes, hello, placeholder 36. Uh, first message is about my FPS. It's not a good sign. That's the hardest part of the whole tower. We could do this chat. I feel like the start is the hardest. Um, Wolsey, they're... <laughs> There's probably always just been an FPS debate in obbying. I guess like there probably is with GD or has been in the past. I wouldn't know as much. Um, it changes your coyote timing. Um, I mean that's pretty much about it. it. There's actually some instances where changing your FPS, like raising it, actually makes certain things harder. So there's that as well. But uh, I don't know, people just like, some people get mad if you play above 60 FPS and you're doing obbies. Just, oh, you're, you're not playing the intended way, you're not legit. You're not supposed to be able to play above 60. <laughs> 360 years old is allowed to 2.1, the Nadia fish should be fun. Yeah, um. It's not that it's not fine. It's more that uh, that people just they'll they'll have their their arguments off that. I guess with the I don't know if you know what tiered hobbies are, but um, you have to use 60 f 60 fps for that, or else like if you submit a completion, like it's not considered legit, quote unquote, which is like really dumb. Like, I've gone to lower to 60 FPS before to, like, abide by said rules. Yeah, and then I noticed the change in coyote timing. I guess that's half of the reason why I don't really play tiered obbies. Because abiding by that rule kind of sucks. I'd rather just play on 90. Sixty FPS hater. I'm not a 60 FPS hater. I think it's just silly that people argue about FPS in the first place. And that uh, people should be able to play the game how they want. It's like, as long as they're not lying about what FPS they're playing on, then I don't see the point in arguing about it. You know what I mean? It's like, if you're being fully transparent about it, then uh, you're good in my eyes. If you, if you were lying, then yeah, I could see the little bit of a dilemma there, but still, not the end of the world. You could also just cheat your completion, so, like, that's way worse than lying about what FPS you play on. Which, people don't really do that, to be honest. I mean, in Jato, you have the FPS, like, counter in the top left, so, no way to lie about that anyways. I'm sure if someone told Keso he looks like Citadel of Contrasting Regions from Juke's Towers of Hell, he'd look it up. Yeah, but it would be like impossible to see that message. Or for him to see it. There's no way. This chat moves way too fast. Does FPS even affect your performance? Um, Some people say like it makes their games feel less laggy. Obviously for, for me it just like... I mean, my game just feels smoother. That's really the the biggest benefit for, for me. It makes some things easier, but I'm like, it's, it's such a small difference. It's like, unless you're doing like frame-perfect timings and stuff, right? Uh, 
between perfect long jumps and stuff, but it's like you're not gonna notice that much at all. In terms of like uh, how easy or harder jumps are. People get mad FPS because you get an advantage with less leg. It's not the leg thing. I guess some people they like almost need to use it because of leg. And like it helps a lot. I for one I'm on 60 FPS because I don't know how to change it. Um Well you'd have to download something called FPS Unlocker. And it only works if you're on PC. Um but you don't you won't have to do that very soon because Roblox will be finally 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 be adding native support to change your FPS. Which hopefully will end the FPS debate. But it probably won't. Because it will still change the physics. So there will still be people that like will die on the hill of playing on 60 FPS. Even when in the game options it will be supported for like whatever like <laughs> 240 whatever it goes up to as the, as the max oh shit oh, judah is on 10 bro pop off oh, we gotta see this they gotta turn on a uh, ldm well gotta see when they go that is I get why people use 60 FPS and 90 FPS and like I absolutely understand and respect you as though. They're the only legit ones. True! Yeah, if you if you cheat that you were on 60 FPS, right? Then like, hey, you're more legit in my eyes than someone who used like 144 FPS. Ew, those guys stink. Bleh. Can't imagine. Yeah, let them cook. Let him cook with the smiley face and shirt. Okay, I am having a very fun time right now. Why was it that I was passing the start of floor 1 quickly, like the slower part, and now I get stuck on it? Usually this, me being stuck here, would happen at the very start of the stream and then not happen again. But it's like the opposite today. What gives? It's like I'm using the same strats, same alignments. I'm just failing stuff more. Like that. Like <laughs> how am I supposed to prevent that? Those walk runs, they just never get consistent. They just don't. Oh, this is like any GD level that puts like the first like 5% of the level is like the hardest gameplay, just like the hardest timing was hardest, whatever, and then like it gets easier, and then like the last, uh, like 90 to 100 is like <laughs> the hardest part, it's like what this balancing is like. Here I go, oh shit, he's going. Why don't you grind the roof's peak, it is a pretty short tower. I mean, watermelon is short too, like if you're not loop failing a ton. I mean, even if you're loop failing a bit, it's still, it's not that long, to be honest. It's definitely shorter than something like TOCP. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta watch Judah here. He's on 10. Of Tower of Addictive Maneuvers! Go, go, go! Wish him luck, check. Although, well, he can't see anyone. Hopefully, no slippery trusses this time. Ooh, 
Oh, that looked weird. Oh, uh, what? Skip. Oh my god, he's so pro. I, I, I mean, he, he's legit chat. He, he did not use skip. He's pro. No! Not the outside rat, no! So sad. Elisa's run is uh, still alive. You know. Damn. That skip looked cool though. Cause like, you get straight to the outside that fast. Slope was coated with a thin coat, a thin coat of oil. Yeah, someone, someone put like some, uh... Yeah, someone coated that with oil. Not your fault, Duda. Who was it? Who, who is in the server here? Was it? Was it you, Trix? Was it you, Chaotix Gamer? Yo, Aspect of Chicken, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. So I missed Z Killer's 7 stream streak week and Kyle GT50's 5 stream streak. Ah, 5 stream streak, yay. <laughs> Those were over an hour ago. Jesus. I just like never noticed. Is Pit of Misery the ring that's like no connection or something? Um, it's basically towers that are not canon, as in, they don't give you tower points and they don't give you a badge. Well, for the most part. The only exception to that is a TOMDC, which is a- which is an easy difficulty tower. Which is, you know, supposed to be- supposed to be haha <laughs> funny. I just hate that, like, uh, even modifying my freaking strat, I, just, I don't know. I like failing that randomly out of everything so much right now. That's what it feels like. I don't know how to stop it. Just don't know. It's like I just get caught on either wall. As a 500 TM DC wins is doable because humans will be anything to will do anything to be the first. Uh, technically, it's been done, but uh, someone used the like POM whitelist server uh, VM thing that you can like spawn in with the command in chat. But it's very much impossible for anyone to ever do that because the server will not stay up for that long.
Rip Ecology 250. Rip rip. Rip rip rip. That took longer than it should have. That's how you do that jump, uh, I, I guess. I don't know exactly which one you're talking about. Finger locked on 36 cognition. Ooh. Bro, I, I hate finger lock too. Happens to me sometimes in Vito as well. Last jump of one. Oh yeah, I don't know if that's even the best strat, but that's just how I do it, and uh, it works for me. Just set up backwards. What do you mean is finger locking? It's as literal as it sounds here. You try and do like a series of inputs. It's like a jump or something. Well, it can happen in any game really. Like GD, you try and do some crazy I don't know, wave click, whatever. Okay, I, I can't give I can't give a good example there, but yeah, try and do some inputs. Well, they're just because it's a lot of inputs, like fast. You got to do. Or because you're nervous, uh, your fingers like literally lock up. It's like you know what buttons you want to press, but you, you just don't press them like in the moment. It's like you try and press them, but you're just it's like your it's like your hand it just doesn't press them. Your fingers just don't move. It's such a weird thing. I never get finger lock. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I should say uh, what the first tower that uh, I started finger locking on. I think about it because it might scare you. Alt. How did I just private chat <laughs> extremely silly goober e dance too? Hello? <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, cool. Deli private chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Jiggle Bob five nine three two nine little bro. Who is that? In a wide tree tape their username in my chat. When you click on a name it is like private chats. I guess I clicked on his name then. <laughs> Okay, nice. Just make me fall off. Cool. Just like shove me off completely. Just like push me out of the little the little platform, the, the gap. That's cool. That just doesn't happen in practice though. Cool. Just have things only happen to me in-game. Nope. 
literally testing how things will work in practice. Nope, that just doesn't matter. Things will mysteriously happen differently in game, in real runs. Because that totally makes sense. It makes so much sense, in fact. That I don't even know why I'm upset over it. The only time I ever finger locked was the TOCR final jump. Ooh, does that mean you failed it, Coder Pun? How many live streams do you think it will take for me to beat Watermelon? I have no idea. 9 and 10 are really hard, especially 10, so. And apparently, I just cannot pass the first jump of 7, so. Just keep failing it over and over again. Like at this point. That's what it seems like. Why is your stream delay so huge? I don't think it really is. I think there's a little more delay on YouTube, but it should only be like a couple seconds. Never really finger lock when I'm fried, just finger lock when my brain stops working. <laughs> I guess that's another way to put it. Like usually if I finger lock it'll only be a one on fire. I don't know, there could be like a mechanically tough jump. Usually I won't finger lock like earlier in the tower, but there have been instances of that. The sad thing about finger locking is it's not like you can win 100%, so losing fed against your nerves extremely hard to control such a thing permanently. Yep, it just feels out of your control. Nothing you can really do about it. How's your PB uh, floor 7 if, and you're not even at 5? Um. Because floor 2 is pretty hard, that's why. Also there's literally one thing on floor 4 that is like preventing me to get back to 5. Like literally just one thing. Okay well technically two things I guess but yeah. I don't even know if I can really call them jumps. Because it's during the no jump section. Why did I hear something that sounded like a chilled? Nah, <laughs> Kyle, you are. Yeah, you are Rex build. Yeah. You're becoming the Rex addict. Never thought I'd see the day. Kyle equals Rex main. <laughs> no! <laughs> Kyle has fallen to the dark side. He has joined. The dark side of um, leaving your PC on while you uh, play other games and just have Rex open and only check the game when there's a minor set or you gotta chill or something.
Souls energy better than Rex? I don't know if I'd say one is better than the other. They're both kind of the same thing, just in a different way. Because like one is about mining ores and then the other is about uh, but like, which is just RNG to trying to get better rare ores. The other is about just like clicking to uh, try and get rare ores. Like the same thing, just reskin basically. You know, just an RNG game. Rex has a ton more content though. I don't know if I'd call it content. More just like ore skins and effects. Can't call him. Yeah, effects. It is content though. Well, I mean, but what's the what's the gameplay? I plan to not play Souls RNG. Yeah, no, like I literally, little, little bro was telling me like he was uh, like playing it, right? I was like, alright, I'll join you in your pain. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll join you in uh, this totally awesome game. And I'm like, wait, that's it? That's all you do? <laughs> you just click button, there's like only one quest in the game, which is like the biggest piece of content, and the map is just like, there's nothing in it. <laughs> he just like messaged me each year. You walk in mine, bro, it's fun, dude. Yeah, but uh, if it's that fun, then why do people uh, just like have methods of AFKing and then they just play other games on the side? Or well, more like they leave Rex on the side and play other games at the same time, is what I should say. I feel the RNG walk off. Rip. Hate to see it. I guess you can uh, save like that. I honestly don't even know you could reach there. It's only if I just like turn too far on the on the little wedge there. I can't save myself obviously if I uh, don't make it to the, the to the next wedge. Okay, I don't know what is happening right now. I'm just glad I'm still at the end of three. And now five. I played Souls Energy when I was 100%ing Super Mario Wonder. So it's like, here's here's the dilemma. Does it? Are you, are you really playing Souls RNG if you're just leaving it open on the side while you do something else? Or like play something else? Because my answer would be probably not. Because you're not even interacting with the game. That's just my take though. It's like at the same time, I totally get why people like are into those types of games. I mean, I've played like my fair share of simulators, just incremental type games, you know, whatever you want to call it, myself. So like, I get it. It's just like my thing with Souls RNG in specific is I don't understand how they have so many players currently. That's what I don't understand. This is the one thing I just cannot wrap my, wrap my head around. Now their player count is just so damn high. Okay, bro. I guess I just can't flick anymore. Around trusses, that's cool. 
great to throw a fly five on. Good job. Good job, the Mr. Baby Dog. Because apparently I didn't have enough issues with two jumps on fly four. Gotta fail the trusses again. Gotta go back to bets. You know, when I thought I was like actually consistent with the trusses at the end of the fly. I guess not anymore. To be honest, what is gauntlets? Like, what game are we talking about now? So, still, stills RNG that we're talking about. To be using auto roll uh, plus quick roll. Mostly, you probably just use like a macro. You could easily just have a very easy to set up macro. You won't even need, you won't even need an auto roll. I don't even know what Souls RNG is. Uh, some game that's really popular on. On Roblox currently, where all it is is you're literally rolling a, okay, not literally, but when I say this, but you're rolling a dice to see, like, just to get a cool looking aura, right? This, that's all it is. You can't do anything with the auras other than like show them off to uh, other people. There's no like actual gameplay besides that. Last time I checked, there's the uh, one quest. Which, uh, I don't even know what you would do with quests, considering there's no real gameplay loop other than rolling for uh, auras. Maybe there would be something cool there. That's kind of boring. I mean, yeah, that's literally my thoughts too. But it's it's more it's more just that um, I don't understand how it has such a high player count. I understand how people would be into it. I don't understand the player count. Like let me check right now after I do the speed section. Right, let me just do this jump first too. Okay, yeah. So what's Souls or NG at right now? Has it gone down yet? There's still high. If Roblox would actually load. Jesus, it is at 111,000 players. Yeah, I don't understand. Bro. I, just, I still got it. Is that all it takes to become a Roblox dev these days? You just like hire someone to make some really cool looking auras for you, right? Really cool VF, uh, like effects, particle shit. You just like have a, you just have a, the, a just a bland looking map, right? And then just some sort of uh, RNG system worked in odds for getting the different auras. Probably just reskin that same concept. There's probably going to be a bunch of games now that come out that are just the same thing, but instead of with auras, it'll be like some fancy, I don't know, armor that you get or some fancy. It'll be that with like, but like with Roblox items, I don't know, dude. Like the. Catalog. Like, you don't have to actually pay for them with the Robux because you're getting them in that game. And only in that game. 
It's gonna be so many copy and paste games like that. Is there any Souls fan games yet? Did not take long at all. I wonder how much time would take for COV to be beaten if just all at the same time everyone started grinding without sleep 24-7. I think it is literally humanly impossible, so unless the like Elon Musk Neuralink chips can uh, allow us to perform robotic actions, like literally robotic like precision like actions and, and timing, then uh no one is beating it, even with an infinite amount of time dedicated. 8 billion people though, it doesn't matter, because uh... It, it just doesn't. There, there's, there's things that no human on this earth could possibly do, or it could ever do. That's why it's labeled as humanly impossible. And there's the literal RNG scattered throughout as well, to top it off. RNG with the purism, RNG on floor 17 or whatever. That that is quite literal. Probably in other sections too. Having to like jump on insta kill, which and, and like abuse invincibility frames to to literally jump across insta kill. Uh, just just you know that's my couple examples. Um, and just all of floor 21, you know. If uh, we ever get good enough, someone does all of floor uh, 21 in one singular run, then heck yeah. <laughs> we we beating that shit, but <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Never, ever. And, uh, I think we can confidently say never. Someone had infinite time, though. I still think even with infinite time, like, never mind that you cannot live forever as a human being. Just even if you had infinite time, right? I still think it would actually be impossible. That's that's my take. Uh, it would not have to be moved down to peak Unreal. That's not gonna happen. People are gonna start beating like, eventually, like 2025, 2026, whenever it is. It's like 2026. I'll I'll just say, people probably will beat like. You know, the lowest of the low null towers, right? And maybe at first some of them will get like downgraded because of a uh, stratting, but then, you know, we'll eventually beat one. We'll, we'll beat one that uh, maybe uh, is more of a consistency based tower so it doesn't get moved down. So I don't think that's what null is all about. That would just be lame if. We could not ever move above Unreal. Like, Nil is not um, any different with that works. It's just that, yeah, we'll never be able to move past Nil. Like, ever. Yeah, Chicken Nugget, I, I agree. It, it makes actually no sense. It's because I want to label Nil as. Like, they want Nil to keep that label as human, uh, as a humanly impossible difficulty, but... Catastrophic was seen as humanly impossible, so... I don't think you should just keep that label on something. Like, that label should be able to be uh, stripped away. Right, like if someone does beat, like, a freaking bottom Nil, right? Over the, the very bottom of Nil. I don't think we would move much past that. COV never getting beaten? Yeah, I mean, I was just saying that. Like, tell me, tell me right now that someone can do Floyd 21 legit. You know, you'd be lying if you told me it would ever happen. Gotta get back into Osu for real. <laughs> At some point, I wanna kinda get back into Osu. Heck, um... Whether it's like Mania or like... Osu. Just like actual Osu. Cause I got pretty good at Mania. Um, 
I just sort of got bored of it, and I was just okay at like actual osu. I think I got to five star maps and then I just like stopped playing as well. Which is like that's above average, but but not by a lot. I don't think. Every time a difficulty has been called impossible, the player base develops enough to make a new skill ceiling. I think it's possible. COV. See, well, here's the thing. Um. There's jumps in Settle Avoid, individual jumps, right, that haven't even been verified yet, right? Because hear me out, if you think back to, uh, just, if you just think back to Blocker's all jump of it, for some jumps, he had to checkpoint abuse. What that means is he had to use multiple checkpoints in, like, the middle of the jump to be able to even perform it. So he didn't even do that jump in, like, one sequence in, in one cut. He did one jump, one singular jump in multiple cuts, and this happens multiple times. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm in the Project COV server, and I've uploaded two videos, like, public on my channel of COV segments. Um, so I kind of know what I'm talking about here. Um, even, even, like, the other night, I did, a. Uh, I did something on 21B, it was like a really easy segment, just like cleaned it up, uh, saved one segment. The jump, there was some beat block truss, you can't flick off the truss. I don't think anyone has ever landed that jump before, at least not on recording. Plus there's like an insta-kill shiver, like yeah, it's just, that jump might literally be humanly impossible, just like, already, that one. Plus there's a bunch on floor 9 that's probably like, you probably can't even land in one in one go. So yeah. A uh, cool guy? Hold on. I will be honest, I, I will correct you there. The lodges... <laughs> I, I do know about this, because I, I have checked. I don't know about all of them, but... There is, um, recordings of people, like, doing the lodges, right? Like, not- not all in one go, obviously, but like, like, some- like a- like, some section of the lodge? I think, like, Weather did, like, one section, I don't know who the other person was. Um... And their recording is, like, over ten minutes long of just lodging. Like, can you imagine that? I think that also puts into perspective, a uh, COV is definitely more than three hours long. Uh, just like with how you'd actually have to do everything. Even if, if you were like building a, a human task sort of thing of it. You're combining all the human segments together. Which will be done by the way, it will be a, a, a video that gets published. Okay, well I was about to fail that. Uh, I want to make the excuse that all my talking led to that, but I digress. That was very much bound to happen at some point. My first time failing that jump in a, in a real run. So that's fun. <laughs> Jiggle Bob. Why is that name so funny? Okay, why did I just slide off the white door? Uh, every tiered obby, I don't think TOSF is the human limit. I'm gonna be real with you. I think it could definitely go further than that. Not by a, a, a shit ton, right? Not by like a massive amount, but it could go further. For sure. One- it, it's definitely not the human- the human limit. It's not like super far away from that, but it, 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 it is not that.
Hello, boom, sad suck. Stay hydrated. You know what, you're so right, base build. I will drink water right now, actually. BTB is high tier 17. Uh, isn't that tier 18? I mean, it'll probably be downgraded down to, uh, tier... The high end of tier 17 with, uh, better strats that get found. Better, well, probably already being found. But isn't Boom still the only vector of it? Isn't isn't he the only one that's even beaten BTB? I feel like I would have heard about another BTB completion. There's nothing a J to that I can really do aside from TOUA at this point. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw I saw that message, but I didn't. I forgot to respond to it. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta hop on that TOUA grin. Hope you'll have I hope you'll have fun with it, Kyle. I mean, I I I think it's like my favorite or second favorite J to Terry. Um, you're more than capable of beating it. So. Hope you have fun with it. Are obvious even obvious at this point, or just rage inducing games? I mean, they're inherently like rage inducing, but it's definitely much more of a skill game than it, than it used to be by far. I hope I end up beating TOUA in, fa in a fast time. You mean in like, with with like the run time itself, like the timer, or in like how many days you take? TOUA is one of those towers that are like, if it's terrifying, I could probably beat it relatively quickly. No, I mean like just the grand. Uh, I think I'll be able to beat it quickly. Uh, just give. <laughs> nah, just, just. I, I don't know. I, I, I think I don't have to give you any tips, personally. There's nothing specific about TOUA I can really say to give tips. Just like general tips than uh, I'd give really for any other tower. <laughs> In fact, Tower of Watermelon acronym used to be TOW, but Tower of Watts exists, so it was changed. I didn't know that, Mythics. But that kind of makes sense. You don't, you don't put a space between water and melon normally. You like right out watermelon, so it makes sense. Although. I'm surprised they didn't just like excuse the rule of acronyms like being taken up because like POM is a non-canon environment. So realm I guess. Okay, I don't know why I'm failing that so much. Like that's one of the normally one of the easiest jumps for me. First bit of one, but it is giving me such a rough time right now. Donate a hundred dollars. No way! <laughs> I cannot believe I just got donated a real a hundred dollars. That is crazy. <laughs> the a hundred Twitch dollars. Yeah, no way. Will you do TOEV after that? I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't have a plan for what to do after. I think first... I should focus on actually beating Watermelon first, and then decide what to do after. I, I, I kinda gotta beat my new hardest first. You know, that that's the harder part than deciding what to do after. I think deciding what to do after will be a lot easier. Maybe that's just me though. <laughs> when press is live, oh god. 
so such brain rot. It still amazes me how he's able to like keep the XQC like persona up. Let's yeah, try that. I don't know at this point. Cause like W wrapping into that isn't working right now. I was honestly impressed of how Winpress is able to keep up the act for so long. And when he streams so frequently. Like the dedication is 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 unreal. Alert, alert, oh. Is he? Bro, what? It's just me, or uh, is this not the full playlist? What? What is this bug? <laughs> you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, I think there's more than two players on this server. Chat. I'm gonna be honest, but maybe that's just me. Oh well. Uh, nothing I can do about it then in that case, I guess. Because uh, I don't want to shut down the whole private server. It's a bit unfortunate. That's some weird UI bug. Spiraling Fates World Record is 49 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's definitely not. It's definitely not 49. No one has made it to 49. You might be thinking of uh, that like joke video where it is. Gosh, I forget his name. Um, he like, uh, like Wallace LH Jade over the insta kill, and then he like climbed up the corner of the frame. It was really funny. He also like, also beat it like that Quan foot and got wind pad kicked. Obviously, say so, yeah, that that was funny. Good video. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it was Tim. Oh, the TOSF win? Yeah, the epic TOSF win! Well, it's like, I'm getting a little faster at one, but... I still don't know how people can go like it's it's like they don't stop moving. I just don't understand it. Makes me feel like an old man playing this game, bro, I swear. Come on, 20 isn't that old, please. Why can't I just be like mechanically gifted and play the game like super fast all the time? What's the real world record for a TOSF? I don't know, to be honest. Watermelon would be so much better if like, one wasn't so bad. Agreed. It's painful. Go from like first trying it to spending like 30 plus minutes here. At least on like the upper portion. Okay, yes, yeah, see. That's why I W wrap it, because I just can't consistently get through that little gap there if I don't. And I, for I forget, I didn't always W wrap that, but I forget what my like actual alignment was. I know I had one, I just don't remember what it was, because I haven't used it since like day one, maybe day two of the grind. I may as well just quit TOVM at this point. No, Judah, don't talk like that. You got so close to beating it, bro. Don't you want that win?
it feels weird to have to focus up when I'm on floor one. It's like the only tower where you have to do that. When return of the wicked stream, baby dog. Uh, I'm beating Wicked Fortress off stream. I don't have uh, any reason to really stream it again. I tried to beat it off on stream, but uh, Floor 10 is like literally horrific, so. I mean, it's. Floor 10's. Here's the thing Floor 10's difficulty isn't even consistent. That's the other bit. That's like annoying. Even Floor 10 has just difficulty spec jumps. That is what makes it so hard. I thought Floor 10 would be consistent with its difficulty, but it's not. Not at all. That stream was kind of wicked though, thank you. Now yeah, at least try it out and I'll, and I'll be able to like beat it now. Like next time I play it, once I practice done some more. Because you know, I should have done a full run through of 10, but I didn't. I just assumed I'd be able to do it. The entire tower difficulty. It's what it feels like, somewhat. I've never seen a such a bad balanced SC tower. I don't know, it even it even puts friending nightmares to shame, I feel like. It's like it's like friending nightmares balancing, but if it had a safety net as well, halfway through. And then like it just has um, a super long floor 10 with also an outside where you can just like uh, fall to one even though there is a net. Whoops. I think I just fat fingered there. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. The worst tower I've ever played. Uh, it's, a, it's a POM tower so it's probably not very good. Of enjoyment. I mean, hey, Judah. On the on the plus side, you did get the skill boost for getting close to beating it. So you know, you don't get the skill boost when you touch the wind pad. You get the skill boost from uh, everything before that point. So you are still a better player than before you started running two of them. Is the scroll wheel still being a frick? I tried to clean it to the best of my abilities. Um, it feels a little better, but like I still don't trust it fully at all. Still feels like it could probably get stuck whenever it feels like it. At least you can save there if that happens. This like if you fall off that other wedge and trying to set up. Dude, I do not give up. I mean, it, it depends. Like, sometimes dropping a tower when you're close to beating it can be better. If the tower seriously is just like, you just hate everything about it, you just aren't feeling up to even really grinding it anymore. Like, you'll still have gotten the skill boost. So if you move on to a different tower that you'll enjoy more, then I mean... It's not the end of the world, even in the slightest. Close. 
Tapos. Somehow, like, forgetting. I only had to zoom out once for that. So it looks like I'm gonna watch you now. Yo, W. Watching Baby Dog live stream while eating food. The best source of entertainment, clearly. Mythic is speaking facts. Well, I didn't expect Mythics to be typing the, the freaking copy pastas, man. I took your fact. Damn. Bro is, a, bro is straight up a thief. Really funny if I failed that though. Genuinely. Syrup Gob was yesterday. Yeah, Syrup Gob isn't a today thing. That was a yesterday thing. Gotten better for me. Still very much available though. Kind of realized that like facing forwards is better <laughs> than watching clips of people doing it more. At least I didn't feel that again. Okay, I just I fat fingered. Oh well. How much I can do about that? It's kind of like finger locking. I just Trust the A key by accident. It happens. Oh well, I didn't want a floor six run anyway. <laughs> Can we get some the B9 cries in chat? 
I don't know, at this point, I'm just getting like numb to the fails of it. I'm just getting, I'm just, I'm just getting used to them. I think if I do fail first of seven though, like I'll, I'll be upset again. There my scroll wheel got kind of stuck. And it's on floor one, so it's not even happening because of like nerves. It's literally just the scroll wheel getting stuck. Okay, there too, like what the heck? It's still happening. I guess cleaning it just did not help uh fix it. It like helped it ha because I think that's the first time I've like noticed it right now. To today. Like this stream. This is the scroll wheel getting stuck. Guess I'll have to look into what mouse to buy. I don't know. <laughs> what mouse has a good scroll wheel, bro? It's like so dumb. I have to like actually figure out what mouse I, I want, but that'll also have a good scroll wheel. A good quality one. You almost flung off some pieces of the st of your steak. Jeez. That was too scary, that would have been two pieces of steak lost. Yeah, I would I would get a mini heart attack too, Kyle. So real. Have a razor vapor mini. Haven't had any problems with that. I used to have a Razor Mist too, that's a thing. I had some like Razor Death Adder Mist for like the longest time and it served me well, so. Yeah, well, I'll see though. I've had my G502 for a while, but my main issue is the Skull Wheel 2. See, so it's not just me. Like, with the same mouse as well, pretty much. Like, exactly the same mouse. Sometimes I'll scroll twice in one motion. Huh. For I think that's happened sometimes. For me, it's usually the opposite though. Bells HQ, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, for me, usually it'll get stuck. Like I try and scroll it with like the same amount of pressure being applied or like force used, whatever, to scroll it, and like it just it won't budge. So you know, it obviously messes me up. It like throws me off. Either means. I fail completely or like I have to like reset whatever I'm like setting up for a second. Yo, just making sure you have tried 75 on this tower since it's easier than 90. Wait, what? How is 75 easier than 90? Go focus on Boy 1. <laughs> uh, I don't want to focus on Boy 1, okay? Like, I know it feels like I got to lock on, on lock in on Boy 1, which is stupid because of how hard it is, but it's like, bro, that's, that's boring. The physics on 75 are better for this tower. I mean, the only thing I've noticed with that so far... Bells HQ, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Someone shout out Bells. W raid. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Running a really hard Roblox lobby. Uh, it's kind of, kind of what we do around here. Actually, hard Roblox lobbies. Not, not this, uh, this baby stuff. No, we, we're into the, the real hard platforming stuff around here. I pressed it like I was about to shout them out, but I continue to realize I am not mod. This VIP grind is so painful. No, I'm sorry, Kyle. 
if you want to give up on the VIP grind, then I shall give you mod. But you know, you cannot have both at the same time, so you'd have to you'd have to give one up for the other. But yeah, as I was saying, um, the only thing I've noticed so far really that's like harder on 90 is those truss like bounces at the end of 4, but all I do to uh, fix that so that's consistent, not just like screwing over my upwards bounce, is uh, I just like distance myself from the truss and then it's, now it's fine. It's like obviously that makes it a little bit harder, but I mean I've gotten I've gotten used to it now, so. If there's anything else you know that's harder, then uh, feel free to warn me. Yeah, fair. Just use what you want, but it's worth out try it's worth trying out. I'd say okay. I'll look into it, but I'm kind of I'm I'm used to 90 right now. I mean, I could. In terms of like just the feel of the game, I can get used to 75 for sure because the very few times I play tiered obvious and you know, lower down to 60, I get used to uh, how smooth the game feels. So it's obvious I notice like the coyote timing changing. When I just came back from a different stream, welcome, that is because uh, I got raided. Hope you're doing well, Cyclone. Yeah, good luck on this by the way, appreciate it. I uh, have not had the best of luck, certainly, I will say that much, but we keep on pushing. Keep on pushing through it. Like my progress itself is still like good, so I mean I can't complain too much. Thank you for the follow cyclone, appreciate it. I'll play on 60 because I feel trusses are way too wacky in my PC's actual poo poo. Huh, usually it's the other way around. People will say that they play on a 75 or 90 or whatever because it actually helps with leg. Spectate me. What are you playing, does this? Oh. <laughs> Why are you just on 7 TOGH, dude? What? This is she already beat Tio Beach. Calm down. <laughs> Bro's just gonna casually rebeat it because he's gotten so cracked at the tower. Oh, rip. <laughs> Bro equipped every effect. That's crazy. But rip. Rip on the rebeat. Man, I'd like to get back up out of this hellhole that is the start of one, but uh, you know, I'm struggling a bit right now. As I guess is just the norm at this point, so I can't really say I'm too surprised. keep failing that jump now too. It's a bit annoying. That's a TOVH experience for you, literally no saving that? Well, not exactly. 
if he did get a wall hop off, he could have a uh, wall hop saved, but obviously it's just like, you know, impossible to consistently pull off. You've saved it twice in a row before? How? How twice in a row? That's insane. I've never even, when I was grinding 2 beach, I never even was able to perform like a save to uh, wall hop save back to the start of 6. Uh, thank you, Alan Taylor, for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was never able to do that. Like, I was only able to do the wall hop save because, like, uh, to, to the start of 4. Because that one is a lot easier. Are you in a personal server? Yep. Sure. Okay, and I had to fail the last jump at the bottom of one hero. Of course, haven't done that in a while. I guess it had to just had to happen. It's hard for me to think of what to say when I'm trying to like focus on just getting past this horrible floor one. This absolute nightmare of a floor. Has it been on floor one? I don't even know. To be completely honest. Look, I don't know why that happens. Sometimes where like I try and reset quickly and then I, I just don't die. Floor one is harder than CV confirmed. Uh, no, this is like such. It's just such a hard floor. It, it's one of the hardest floors out of just like any Chato Tower, canon, non canon. Not in terms of like. Just in terms of raw difficulty. Like, obviously, because it's floor one, it makes it matter less, right? In terms of impacting the actual difficulty of the tower, but. Now, if you put this on floor 10 of like a horrific or an unreal like row, it would definitely be the hardest floor I feel like. You're just not focusing? I am. Like, I was focusing right there and I still failed the jump because that jump is like ridiculously hard. There's like such little room for error in terms of how late you jump off the platform, how well you camera control in the air, you can't go in too early or else you'll hit the side of the wall. If you turn in too late, then you obviously don't make it to the platform, so it's just like it's a lot. It's such a tight jump. I don't get why that happens sometimes. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be on the platform, and then it's like I run into something and I don't get on. Like, good, this way. like getting a high jump sometime, sometimes.
Are you telling me the private server is full right now? Uh, I don't know. It has people in it, for sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm just hitting my head until this I just keep holding to the right and I'll land on it. I don't know. Difficulty of the practice hobby in PO. I have no idea. I don't think anyone's beaten it yet, so it must be pretty dang hard. Check DMs, alright. Uh, I can't exactly do that, little bro. The UI is broken. Otherwise, I would have already done that a while ago. I just happen to have a rare UI bug right now. That I seemingly cannot fix unless I like leave and rejoin, probably. I don't think anybody really cares about beating it. Yeah, I mean... It's not exactly something that would be like super prestigious to have beaten, but... At the same time... In terms of POM stuff, it's that and TOSF that are locked, so... People will, people will be trying it. Okay, I held it right and I still didn't land on it, see? Like, I don't, I don't know what gives with that. Sometimes I'll just get a high jump and then I hit my head into the roof. And then even holding to the right still, it won't let me on to the platform. Like, like, there it is again. I don't know what gives. I don't know what- I don't know what the problem is. I swear this hasn't even always been happening either. And now it just feels like it's happening so frequently. I thought that was twice in a row. So. Uh, so many questions and no answers. It's annoying. Good luck, Judah. I didn't think you were going to be playing it, still. So. I can try and find a strat right now for you if you want. I mean, uh, I've looked at multiple videos, like... All they do is, like, like, sometimes they'll jump to, like, the left, but that, that would not affect, like, what happens here with you hitting into the ceiling here. Like, they'll, they'll go like this. That doesn't change whether you go to the right or jump, like, facing to, like, it, it doesn't matter which way you face. I don't see how that could possibly change the physics, um. There's no strat, there's no alignment. It's just you eyeball it, go, and hope you land and don't fall out of every completion of it I've looked at no one does even like the like eyeball and alignment maybe but like they're eyeballing it they're not even cursor aligning or anything okay, that was close but thankfully I landed it Finally, get to the actual. 
actual gameplay. Yeah. GG bro basically won. It it literally feels like I just beat something that's like extreme difficulty when I pass that floor or some or some shit bro, like I swear. I swear if there was like if there was um a weekly challenge, right? Let's just say, and it was to like pass floor one of watermelon, I swear that shit like would be like extreme slash Davy bro. I I swear. <laughs> Bro, be the two hobby in itself, literally. Two fifteen at least, yes. Let's go. I be the two fifteen, guys. I'm so good. adds little difficulty to the tower. So it's very strange. It's like I almost wish this was like a nine floor tower just like you know they nerfed floor one. But that's not how it be. It's not, not how it is. Just have a ridiculously hard floor one for like no good reason. We all got stuck there. See, like, at least it be happening at times when it doesn't matter, but I just can't wait for it to happen at a time where it does matter again. Just, boy, I can't wait. This shit would be mid cat if they remove Fly 1. Uh. I have to turn time watermelon to Akata. No, literally, no, floor, floor 1 is literally just a time wasting floor. It's literally what it is. It's literally just a time wasting floor. I swear. Strats OP, true. I swear like floor 3 right now is like the easiest floor of the tower for me. strap it's hard to explain I'm telling you there is no strat for that jump and if it takes more than like a second to set up for it or like two seconds then it's really not worth it if it took like a second or two to set up and it made the jump literally 100% consistent then I could see it being viable but I really don't see how other people grinding the tower wouldn't have found like a cracked strat. There's something you eyeball, you're skillful. Oh shit, go luck, Judah. Bro, you're. I swear you're gonna beat this.
time for a very null gameplay. Yes, my favorite. That baby dog, what is it playing on? Five of spinners. Um They actually do get consistent. Is a thing. And I kind of didn't believe when uh Green Bean was saying that to me. But uh they do. They they, they actually do. Well, they're still very much failable, but I'm a lot better at them than I was when I first got to floor five and had to go at them. on them too much anymore. And they're kind of also satisfying to do, like, in the moment, I'll say that. It's like satisfying to pull off the spinners in a, in a run. I'm gonna make a tutorial bid for one jump and set it to you on Discord. <laughs> okay. I mean, if it helps, then I'll, I'll appreciate it. I don't know, I've just never... I've never, like, bumped into the ceiling more than today by, like, a long shot on that jump. It's starting, it was starting to get to me. Spinners are pretty fun when you can actually pull them off most of the time. Okay, well, I thought I got into the gap, and then it just shoved me out again. That's cool. Um, I might just end the stream there, to be honest. Uh, I just keep having runs be thrown. Yep, I mean, I just feel like I should have gotten, like, so much further today, but I just haven't. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, just delaying my progression, I guess. I don't know. That's all it really is. Just delaying my progression. Um, I'll hit up Delta with the raid. He is alive. Controller, obby player. Is... Paradis is friending nightmares, so he is really cracked for being a controller player. Probably one of the best controller players, to be honest. And uh, yeah, he's live right now, so uh, make sure you stick around. Um, he's playing. Uh, <laughs> he's playing Jato, the Jato difficulty chat game right now. I don't know why. I guess because uh, we were also playing it earlier today. Uh, okay, not on my stream, but uh, on Null's stream. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow, and uh, I don't know. Don't know what to really work on in specific for watermelon. It's like the same thing as I guess. Yeah, goodbye chat. <laughs>